Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime in Sea Club. Our clue yes today, well, I thought it was a chicken. Uh, this looks more like a rooster, but the story is the chicken sisters. All right, let's find out about the chicken sisters. Okay, there we go, we'll begin. Violet and Poppy and Babs were sisters. Violet, the eldest. She couldn't see very well, but she loved to bake. She had to squint to see the dial on the oven, so the sunny kitchen in their little yellow house was often filled with smoke. Boy, do I love to bake, she would say. Well, Poppy and Babs always ate Violet's cookies and cakes. Yummy, Poppy would say, as she would wrap the burnt edges around her napkin. Scrumptious, said Babs, and she would wipe away the parts that were burnt. It made Violet so happy to know her sisters liked her baking. Poppy, the middle sister, loved to knit. She knit hats and chin straps and turtleneck sweaters. Boy, do I love to knit, she would say. And she gave all the sweaters she made to Violet and Babs. It made Poppy so happy to know her sisters loved her knitting. Babs, the youngest, couldn't hear very well, but she loved to sing and she'd sing in the shower every day. She sang at Harriet's House of Hair, where she worked as a hairdresser, and she even sang in bed. I love to sing, she'd say. Well, Babs sang off key, but Poppy and Violet always applauded. It made Babs happy to know her sisters liked her singing. But the neighbors were not happy. Bill and Tessie complained about the smoke and the Fortinas, they complained about the noise. And the twins, the little Fortina twins, complained those hats that Poppy made were very, very itchy. Oh, they would itch and itch when they wore them. So whenever the neighbors would get together to play cards, they would discuss the sisters. There must be something we can do, said Mrs. Fortina, but they could never think of anything. One day, an old wolf moved into the neighborhood. He couldn't wait to visit with all his new neighbors. Bill and Tessie were so scared that they stopped going outside. And the Fortinos, ooh, they were scared too. And when they went out, they disguised themselves in costumes. Mrs. Fortina would dress up as a Martian. Mr. Fortina wore his old football uniform. And the twins, they dressed, they dressed as salt and pepper shakers oh no ah oh, the old wolf was thrilled to see that everyone was so scared he hadn't scared anyone in years he crept up to bill and tessie's window and he bared his old teeth oh, he hid under the fortina's car and he would yell boo the wolf liked the twins costumes the salt and pepper shakers he wanted to dress up too he rummaged through his attic and he found a deep sea diver's suit, a mailman's uniform, and a ballerina's tutu. He liked the tutu outfit the best. Now it was time to visit those three chicken sisters. He knocked at their door. Oh, a visitor, Violet explained, and she invited the wolf in. She offered him her freshly baked coconut crisps, and he gobbled them all down. Oh, they felt like rocks in his stomach. He stumbled over to the couch, moaning and coughing, because remember, they were all burnt. Oh my, you don't look well, said Poppy, and she pulled out a tape measure. I think you need a nice new wool sweater. She measured his arms and chest, and the wolf, he just rested there, closing his eyes. At that very moment, Babs started to belt out her favorite song, Puppies, piglets, and pumpkins, too. Oh, doesn't she sing beautifully, Poppy asked, still measuring. Well, the wolf tried to crawl to the door to get away, but he got tangled up in Poppy's knitting. And at that moment, Bill and Tessie and the whole Fontini family barged into the house. They finally decided they were going to complain about the singing and the smoke and those itchy hats. But when they saw the wolf, they froze. <gasps> That's the mean old wolf, said the twins. I I'm not mean, the wolf cried. I was just having fun. 
fun. You scared us, said the twins. Oh, please, please let me go, the wolf pleaded. I'll leave town. I'll, I'll even move in with my mom and dad. So the wolf went off to live with his mom and dad. And the three sisters, they invited everyone to a party in their little yellow house. Violet made cakes and cookies. Bab sang and Poppy, she measured everyone for hats and their neighbors didn't complain at all. The end. So I hope that wolf had a good time when he went to visit his parents. Maybe he'll come back. He might come back to the neighborhood, right? Okay, the end of the Chicken Sisters. Well, I think that's um, a good point to look at our cake, right? Let's look at our cake. Yesterday we had a, an almost all vanilla cake. So today, let's see, who do we have here? Okay, we have, let me see, let me turn over here. Uh-oh, okay, for vanilla, we have Annabelle, Joseph, Molly, Alice, Kira, Martha, and Clara, all vanilla. We have Ben B, Bevy and Henry, Gray, Audrey, and Lila, Melissa, Jackson, Miles, and Riley. Okay, the chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. seven vanilla. Okay, good. It's going to be a chocolate. It's, it's reversed here today. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So now we're going to sing to our friend, our friend Ann Dubin. It was her birthday a few days ago, but we're going to sing to her today. Right? Right, Oberon? Let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anne. Happy birthday to you. All righty. Thank you very much, everybody, for singing along. I'm going to reach down and see what Oberon has to offer us for a clue. The clue is a llama. Whoa, a llama. I love llamas. Love them. All right, I wonder what our story is going to be. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Oberon. And remember, I love you all very, very much.